What's going on, internet people? Jossy Joss back again, and I have an unboxing and tasting video for you today. We're gonna do the second of my two snack boxes that I'm subscribed to. So I already did the Universal Yums one, which was amazing. It's Poland, really, really cool. Can't wait for next month's. But my second snack box, if you guys already don't know, or all don't know, or whatever, I don't know that phrase. I'm really tired, but anywho. My second snack box is a Korean snack box, just straight up for Korea, and it's the April 2016 Snack Fever box. Um, I believe, from what I remember, there's three sizes of the box. There's the mini, I think this is the regular, and then they have their, like, deluxe box. Plus, they do a lot of theme boxes. Um, I got the Black Day box, which was for April 14th, which is their Black Day. Uh, in Korea, and then there was a white day box last um, last month in March, and then a pan there was a Valentine's Day box as well. I didn't get the Valentine's Day box; they sold out. Um, they also have a ramen or ramyun box that's specifically just the uh, uh, ramyun, and they just released a box that's called uh, dakboki or the rice cakes, and it's a box dedicated to that. So um, I'll put a link in the description below for Snack Fever in case you're interested in subscribing to one of their boxes or just buying a single box just to try stuff out. But right now we're going to go into their regular size April 2016 Snack Fever box. So let's get in to it. Alright. Opening the flappy and this is what it looks like. Ooh. Interesting. All right, so this is what it looks like. All right, ooh, trying not to drop the card. Pretty cool, right? Very, very bright colors. All right, I'm gonna, I, I see some interesting things in here already. Just, we'll see. All right, let's go with descriptions, and then from there we will figure out what we're gonna eat and stuff. So yeah, uh, like I mentioned is Three different size boxes, mini, oh, so it's mini, the original, and then the deluxe. Um, the original box has everything that's in the mini box, and then the deluxe box has some items that are from the original box, but then it has a lot of other items that are not in either of the other ones, which is cool and not cool at the same time. So let's start with what's in the mini box with you in case you're interested in getting it. Um, at least you'll have an idea of how many snacks you get. So let's see if I can find them. So the first item is called Choco Tin Tin or Thin Thin. Tin Tin or Thin Thin. So it looks like thin crispy chocolate grazed cookie. Grazed? Maybe glazed? Bad English spare, okay. <laughs> thin crispy chocolate glazed cookie that goes well with coffee or tea. All right, cool. Um, the next item, I think this is it. Yeah, Sand Ace Lemon Cream. So, zesty and refreshing lemon cream sandwich between crispy biscuits. So, it's like a sandwich cookie type thing with lemon cream in the middle. I think there's two of those in there. Um, milk Caramel. There you go. Milk Caramel. Rich caramel made with condensed milk. One of the oldest yet popular snacks in Korea. Also, it comes in a cute box, so who can say no to that? Oh, duh. Yeah, it, it seems like one of those things you keep in your pocket and you want a little snack or something. Nice, nice. Uh, oh, this is kind of funny. This is called Chicken Macho Spicy Bulgogi. And the, the chicken's like, is, is, oh, sorry, the chicken's like angry or something and he's crying or is so spicy that he's tearing up. I don't know what's going on with this thing. But Chicken Macho, and they even have it in Spanish, Gallo. Macho gallo is Spanish for I thought gallo was Spanish for rooster, not chicken, because chicken wouldn't chicken be pollo. Whatever. Anywho, um, it says light, crisp, and crunchy corn puff infused with spicy bulgogi powder. Cool. All right. Sounds super savory. I'm always looking forward to that stuff. Um, let's see. Chrysanthemum hub tea. So looks like a tea bag. Spring is coming. I mean, it's here. Calm yourself with chrysanthemum tea before bedtime. Probably won't be making this because I am I'm not planning on making a cup of tea 
right now, so I'll, I'll eventually, this will this will happen eventually, but not right now. And then, is this it? Yeah. Chestnut Monaca, rich flavored chestnut paste, sandwiched between light and fluffy rice wafer. All right, cool. There's like a little stamp on it too. We'll, we'll get into that uh, later. All right, so that was what was in the mini box. Now we're getting into the uh, original box, which is the one that I'm subscribed to. So we got Nongshim Kimchi Ramen. Spicy ramen with kimchi flavored powder and flakes. So it's pretty much, yeah, straightforward, your household ramen, but flavored with kimchi. Okay. Um, what else? Oh. Churros. Sure. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not lying. It says churros with a Z because it's like urban or something. Churros. Collaboration of Latin world of Asia. I don't know what that sentence means. We give you churros, sweet honey flavor with hint of cinnamon to give you the authentic Sparian, Spanish-Korean fusion flavor. Sparian? Really snack fever? <sighs> well, seeing as a good portion of my Disney career, I sold actual churros. Well, not actual, but like I sold churros. Um, I'm looking forward to it, we'll see. But it's just, this packaging is funny. It's like a... I'll show it to you later, but when I get to it, but it's just, it's, it's amusing. It's, it's not just a snack, it's entertaining too. Um, let's see, the drink, it's called Sack Sack Orange. Uh, sweet and refreshing mandarin orange juice with lots of pulp. Cool. I don't know if I'll be drinking this, because typically the drinks that they put in here usually are better when they're cold, so I will probably wait to drink this until I'm able to refrigerate it, since this is kind of straight out of the box, and I did not refrigerate said box. All right, and the last item that is exclusive to the original box is the Moncher Cacao, or Moncher Cacao, soft yet rich flavored cacao chocolate cake filled with real cream. Cool. All right, so those are all the items in the box. Let's start Tasting. So, let's see. I'm gonna do this one, this one, that one. The, one of these. These two things. Not the wrong one, you should come back. And this one. Okay. Just need to organize myself so I know what I'm eating right now. Okay. So. Let us begin. Let us do, let's do the Choco Tin Tin. It's like in a box of some kind, so. So Choco Tin Tin, crispy chocolate cookie. Plus I think it, you can also, oh, it opens here, okay. I'm trying to figure out how to open these things. Sometimes when, when everything's in Korean, it's kind of hard to figure out. But these are Choco Tin Tin, cookie, thin cookie. Oh, they're individually wrapped like Jeebus. Oh, I love when they're individually wrapped. It just makes things go by so much easier. <sighs> With the Poland box that I got from Universal Yums, pretty much every single item I had to literally rip open and eat and then awkwardly try to finish it during the week. So this way, I'm not as much of a fatty. Yay? Mm, let's see what this Choco Tin Tin or thin, thin, grazed, glazed cookie is all about. Open a little individual wrapper. Oh, these are really thin. Oh, one's broken. Let me see if I can get the one that's not broken. Oh, too late. Oh, well, oh, this box was in the heat, so the chocolate's very soft. I want to try... Flip it over so you can kind of see what's going on here. So the cookies look like this, like these chocolate cookies, and the bottoms of these cookies are covered in chocolate, and so they have the stripes. Very similar to if you had like the Samoa Girl Scout cookie, all the entire bottom is all chocolate, and then there's the drizzle on top. Very similar, but no coconut and not as Girl Scouty. Let's see.
Mm. Melty chocolate, which has basically been the theme this month with the snack boxes. The cookie's very light and crispy, which is nice. Chocolate. Mm, not too terribly sweet, but it's like just enough. Mm. Good. I like it. And I can see why it would go well with coffee or tea. They're really thin, so just, you know, having them on the side as you're drinking your coffee or tea would be nice. I'm sure these would have been better if they weren't as melty as they are at the moment. Because they're pretty melty. All the chocolate coming off of it. Mm. Alright. Cool. Thank you, Chocolate Tin Tin. Moving on to the next item. You know, honestly, I was trying to not have... I was I, Not trying to not, but... I was hoping for no chocolate in this box, considering that the Universal Yums Poland box was pretty much 90% chocolate. So, starting off this video with the chocolate item. Yeah. All right. But I think I want to kind of get through the chocolate so that I can get it out of the way. So I'm going to do the more sheer cacao next. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's, it's continuing the theme for my last snack box, if it makes sense. More sheer cacao, soft yet rich flavored cacao, chocolate cake filled with cream. So, like a ding dong? Y'all know what a ding dong is, right? A Costas cake. Mm. Smells sweet. And it's covered in chocolate. Of course it is. There we go. And I look at it. Almost reminds me of a moon pie. You ever, y'all had, ever had moon pie? Like the, um, the ones that are packaged and they have like different flavors. Like you'd have like a, or a whoopie pie. That's what it looks like. And then just slathered in chocolate. Let's see. Chocolate and cream. I mean, it's just really sweet. Or, yeah, it totally reminds me of like eating like a hostess, like ding dong or cupcake. But, yeah, it's just chocolate and cream. The cream's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be a little bit more dense. And the cake, too, same thing. It's not as like heavy as uh, I expected it to be. Mm. But good though. For a chocolate dessert, it seems a lot lighter than anything else. So, nice. And the melty chocolate. Getting all over the place and trying not to make a mess of myself. Trying. No guarantees. Alright. So I believe that was all the chocolate items. I think I got them all. I hope. Crossing fingers. All right, let's let's break in with some. Uh, let's do the nut. So the chestnut. This is the chestnut monaca, the rich flavored chestnut paste sandwich between light and fluffy rice wafer. I like chestnuts. I think it's an underrated nut. Oh, this is kind of cool. So this is what it looks like, and it has this really cool like bird design kind of pressed into it and it's really light like it is rice cake like I don't know if you can tell it's almost, I mean it feels like styrofoam <laughs> but it smells like rice cake but not like the savory stuff That was a lot softer than I thought it was gonna be. When I think rice cake, I think of it being, if it's not mochi or something like that, I think of it being like really crispy, like crunchy. And so feeling it, it felt like, kind of like a styrofoam, almost like a, like a texture of a cheese puff, which should have been, but it's not. It's a lot softer. It's maintains its shape, but it's a lot softer than the inside. 
Got that hazelnut cream. That's the the, 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 the filling is delicious. But the texture of the rice wafer thing, that's a little weird. I mean, I can handle it, but I know other people will think they're chewing on like styrofoam or something. And they probably won't be down with it. I'm down. Yep. I also can pretty much eat a good amount of things, so. Except spicy food. Not a huge fan. Alright. Cool. Thank you, Chestnut Monaka. Not bad. Not bad at all. That paste was a little sweet, though. Like, now that I'm, like, swallow, like, you know, swallowing it and, like, washing it down with water, I'm like, yeah, it was a little sweet. But, what can you do? All right, I got four more items I'm gonna try. What should I do next? I kinda wanna leave the, the savory item, because it's the one savory item in the box um, for last. Kinda uh, cleanse that sweet palate. Should I do a break and then a caramel? Should I do the caramel? Okay, I'm gonna do the caramel, then I'm gonna do the lemon thing, then I'm gonna do the churros, and then I'm gonna do the chicken that's like yeah, angry and stuff. So, no caramel. Boop. So apparently this snack is very popular and it's been around for a while. It's by Lot, Lot or Lotte, L-O-T-T-E. And I've seen a lot of their uh, brand snacks and stuff. They've, they've been around. This ain't their first rodeo, y'all. Well, and the caramels are individually wrapped. Do, 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 do. That's really cool and nice. I mean, I guess if it's like, if it's been around for a while and people are like keeping these, you know, in their pocket or on the desk or something, it shouldn't just be like caramel straight up uh, sitting there. <laughs> would you like caramel squares? <laughs> Ants would just attack it. So that's what it looks like when you it's no longer in the box. Uh, it's almost like a haichu, kind of. And it looks like your typical caramel square. Pretty straightforward. Pretty good. Stand by. Sorry about that, my dog came in the room. Now he's kind of hiding under my chair. I think he needs to go outside. I'm still eating my caramel. I can't go, TD. <laughs> Caramel's very light, buttery, and it's not too heavy. Okay. Um, yes, I know. Um, <laughs> not as thick consistency. But I think I prefer this caramel than the one I had from Poland. Because if you remember my Poland video from Universal Yums, they had a caramel too. And that one just kind of smooshed. This one has a little bit more body to it. But, because I think I'm more familiar with this type of caramel than I am with the, the other one. But it's good. I can see why it's a, like a long-lasting snack. Well, it's long-lasting, but like... It's kind of like a snack that survives the test of time. So that's pretty cool. Alright. I will be right back. Internet people. Don't go anywhere. And we're back again. <laughs> yeah, I had to take my uh, little dog TD out. Uh, TD actually has his own Facebook page. And an Instagram. I'll put the links in the description below. Um, he's a little brown mutt. He's a mix of a... What is he? Jack Russell, uh, Miniature Pincher, and uh, Chihuahua. So uh, we've had him for, uh, I want to see, just over 10 years now. So he's a little old man. And uh, he'll come into this room every so often if he needs to uh, take care of business outside. So he'll kind of bug me since I'm usually the one awake. So I have to take him out. So that is what I did. <laughs> we had a little guest star come in. Um, that's actually the first time that, I, that he's come in while I was filming, so, but, 
No biggie. Maybe one of these videos I'll put him on screen, but highly unlikely, because I film these really late and he's usually in bed. So, anyway, um, I finished the caramel, so now I have three more items to try. Let's do the lemon thing. The lemon, sand ace lemon cream, uh, sandwich cookie, right? The sandwich, it's uh, lemon cream sandwich between crispy biscuits. This does not feel like it's individually wrapped. This feels like there's two cookies inside. Oh wow, that's pungent lemon, like, in your face. Pretty straightforward. Looks like a, you know, sandwich cookie. It's a very bright flavor coming through, especially after eating all those heavy things like chocolate and chestnut and caramel. Those all start with the letter C, by the way. <laughs> anyway, oh, and the, the biscuit almost has a little hint of salt on it. So that's actually a really nice um, flavor coming through with the, um, the tartness of the lemon cream. And there's always a, like a sweetness that's there because it's a biscuit rather than like a cracker or a chip. Hmm. The cream does get a little tart, so if you're not a huge fan of that lemon, that super lemon tart flavor, you will probably not enjoy these. Lemon isn't my favorite flavor, but I do appreciate the flavor, especially after eating something like chocolate or whatever, um, to come in afterwards. To kind of, it's almost like a palate cleanser to a point. So like for this box, this is my palate cleanser. It's kind of like prepared me and I've got the churros and the angry chicken thing to eat. So it's kind of nice like a little break in the midst of all the heavy stuff. And it reminds me of spring. Spring's supposed to be light, you know, bright colors, pastels, and you know, like it's yellow packaging and it's very light and so it works. Hmm. Good stuff. Thank you, Sand Ace. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Next item: the nostalgic churros, authentic Spanish snack. Do you see this? It says authentic Spanish snack. And then. Here's the, this is what I wanted to show you, the logo on the back. There's like a Spanish lady, a bull, wine. Those are supposed to be the churros, the Spanish flag, it says hola. <laughs> it says churros is, okay, I'm just going to read it verbatim from the bag. Churros is Spanish style donut with 100 yes, yes, y-e-e-a-s. Love tradition, if you enjoy churros with chocolate syrup, ice cream, and coffee, these can give you extra sweet cinnamon flavor. Let me just show you really quick. It says, yes. Hundred. Yes. <sighs> okay. All right. Let's see what all the hubbub is. All right, where am I opening? I'm trying to follow the instructions. Okay, open. Open here. Smells like honey. Mm -hmm. They kind of look like churros, guys. I'm not going to deny it. They kind of look like churros. These are a lot crispier than the churros that I used to sell. Um, but same shape that I'm used to seeing. Mmm, much crispier. Mmm. Mm. These are good. <laughs> you like cinnamon, you like sugar, you like really crispy things. These are yummy. Um, I can't. It's good. <laughs> it's not your typical churro. Because churros, 
if you get them like at the Disneyland Resort or something, they're they're crunchy, but there's also a little like softness to it because it is a dough, you know. And then they roll it through the oven, so the outside gets crispy, while the inside stays tender. This is straight up fried. These are all like crunchy, 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 but the flavor is very, very good. It's cinnamon and sugar, but there, I think there's a hint of maple in there too. Yeah, this has some maple syrup in there, so that totally makes sense. Mmm. I love how they're actually really light and really, really crispy, which is really cool. I mean, you can hear it. I'm sorry if that was gross for some people, but I just had to show you. Mmm. Good stuff. Not bad, Korea in Spain. With the churros. Um, totally weirded me out, but you ended up hitting a home run in the end. That was really yummy. They're, yeah, churros with a Z. Snapping a Z for information. <laughs> Alright, last item to try. Me. Chicken machos, spicy bulgogi with the angry chicken that's crying. I think it's because it's so spicy. I don't know. I just find that hilarious. It's amusing. It's entertaining. So, let's see. What's in this bag? Oh, mystery. They look like little discs. Little puffy discs. The smell reminds me of an old snack that I used to have in the Philippines called uh, Peewee, I think they were called. It was like a barbecue chip. And I remember a long time ago, like uh, this was obviously when I went to the Philippines. So the last time I was there, gosh, 1988 or something. And um, our caretaker took me to the movies I don't even remember what movie we watched, but I do remember the snack because there wasn't really popcorn. So he bought me a bag of these Pee Wee chips and they were like barbecue flavored. And I liked them, they were a little spicy though, but the smell reminds me of this spicy bulgogi. Maybe it's the same? Maybe it's a similar flavor? Mmm. Ooh, that's got some kick to it. <coughs> oh, hey, wow. Sorry, I'm a wuss, okay. I am a big wuss when it comes to spicy food and that creeped in like no other, just kind of, you. <laughs> but it's weird, like, okay, so. I want to say the puffs are corn. Yeah, it says corn powder, so it's corn. But like sugar is like the third ingredient. So the corn puff itself is sweet. It's kind of like if you remember my Universal Yum's Philippines box, the sweet corn snack, whatever. Similar to that in texture and even a little bit in flavor, not as sweet. But it's that corn sweetness, that natural corn sweetness. But then throw on top of it some spice. Ooh. Ah, la, la. Ah, la, la. It just says spicy seasoning. It doesn't tell you what's in it. <laughs> Ooh. And it just kind of envelops, comes through. The flavor is good. It just, it kicks my face, but whatever, um, in the spice department. I can see why the chicken is angry and crying. Totally makes sense. But, wow. Ooh. <laughs> mm. It's one of those snacks that it hurts so good. Like, you'll suffer through it to finish it because you know it tastes good. But it's spicy, so it'll hurt you. <laughs> mm. Okay. That is all in the April 2016 Snack Fever regular size box. Um, 
the deluxe box has some other things like rice and a candy and some more noodles and some other things so um but it's more expensive so if you're not looking into that type of stuff um, i would suggest the regular box it's a decent sized box for the amount of snacks you get and it's relatively affordable but if you're not too sure uh, i definitely would go with a mini box especially if you're not into um <laughs> jumping into the pool of uncertainty when it comes to snacking so uh Try out the mini box, see if you like it, and then if you do, then you can always upgrade. So, um, anyway, yep, that is the that is the end, or uh, that is the last item in the April uh, 2016 box for Snack Fever. Um, so let's see, what did I like the most? Those churros, honestly, like these things surprised the crap out of me. I was not expecting them to be that good. So, I mean. I should have known, because churros are pretty awesome. Um, I usually try to get one at Disneyland when I can, but if I can't, I'll try to get one at Costco, because Costco's are cheaper and much larger than the ones at the Disneyland Resort. Um, but yeah, love the churros, really like the texture, although I think 90%, like 95% of this box was actually really, really solid. I enjoyed them all. So, um, pretty good stuff for April. Obviously, I'll be looking forward to next month, but next month's box, excuse me, the spice is getting through my nose, uh, but next month's box will arrive while I am in Hawaii. Um, if y'all don't already know, I will be going to Hawaii for 10 days in May. Um, I leave the 13th and I come back the 23rd, and it's for my birthday. My birthday's in May, May 11th. Woo, birthday! Uh, so this box tends to send near the end of the month, like today is the 24th of April, and I, re I received it the 23rd of, of April, so if, if, if it is, if they ship it the same way, I might receive it after I come back from my vacation, but we'll see. Universal Yums, though, I don't know, <laughs> that one ships early, so all my, a lot of my boxes might be delayed because of it, so we'll see what happens by the end of the month, um. It's going to be a busy, busy month uh, for May, or for me, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you're interested in getting the box, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, if you like this video or you like any of the snacks and stuff, give it a thumbs up and tell me in the comments, you know, what looked intriguing to you or if you've, if you have this box or if you've eaten some of the snacks that I've already eaten, like if you've been to Korea and, uh, you've seen these in the like the supermarket shelves and stuff tell me what do you think about it what you know do you like it do you not like it is there a better item out there that's similar or what tell me um and uh if you haven't already noticed i have a lot of other videos out there uh, about unboxing and snacks and stuff so you should subscribe if you haven't already done so um if you have subscribed recently thank you so much i it's much appreciative i mean i'm still kind of a noob when it comes to this uh constant Const constant content um, being released on uh, YouTube, so uh, it's it's taking a little bit getting used to, but I'm I'm doing my best, I'm trying to create some you know cool um, unboxing videos for you guys, and uh, hope you I, I'm 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 very appreciative for those that enjoy them and continuously watch them every time. Um, but yeah, that is it. Have a great night. Uh, make good choices, and <laughs> talk to you later, guys. <laughs>